Hi, you YouTubers. This is Superman G. Come back at you one more again. And in this video, I want to explain to you about the differences between motherboards, meaning AMD and Intel. Now, this isn't going to be an in-depth look at the total differences between Intel motherboards and AMD motherboards. I just want to show you what the sockets look like what the differences is what they look like meaning that when you look at the motherboard as to where the cpu goes the central processing unit there are differences or there is a difference i should say now when you pull up a website that has electronics such as this which is newegg you're going to see a whole bunch of motherboards to have, you know, this is one, this is one, this is one. And they're going to give you a description of what each motherboard is. You know, this is an Asus Prime Z390A, uh, MSI, MPG, B550. And this can probably seem a little confusing to basic beginners, people who don't know about them. And that's what this video is directed towards people who don't know what these motherboards are or what the differences are when it comes to knowing which processor goes with which motherboard if you're looking for a AMD motherboard then it needs to go with an AMD processor same as if you were looking for an Intel motherboard you need to get an Intel processor now when you're looking at motherboards, you want to make sure that you pay attention to what is telling you about the board. This tells you this is an Asus Prime Z390A LGA 1151, which is the socket, the processor number, uh, ATX Intel. So you know this is an Intel motherboard. Versus this MSI MPG B550 Gaming Edge Wi-Fi AM4. That is one of the keynotes that lets you know this is an AMD motherboard and then it finishes saying ATX AMD motherboard now you have your word in here that tells you which is which this is an Intel and this is an AMD but you also want to know visually what the difference is so I put together some pictures and I'm going to do a side by side, but first I'm going to show you a motherboard example of this particular motherboard. I'm going to try to zoom in if I can a little bit so you can see what it looks like. This is a typical motherboard, no real difference except for one key difference. This right here is the socket this lets you know which socket whether it's an Intel or an AMD now I can tell you offhand which socket this is because I'm an expert in knowing this okay but if it was beginner they wouldn't know if this is an Intel or an AMD likewise if I were to select this motherboard and I'm gonna zoom it in a little bit you probably wouldn't know which this is and I do know which this is but as you can tell there are or there is a difference if you look at this particular socket here you see that there's this metal bracket that goes around it and then the other one that I pulled up earlier does not have that metal bracket this is an AMD socket an AM4 the other one which I showed you this is an Intel socket and as you can see there are there, there's this difference that you can now tell just by the bracket itself now the reasoning for the differences is to prevent lawsuits and you know they're not made the same they're two different companies two different entities so everyone has their own way of creating a whatever socket that they wanted to create now the reason behind this is because with this being an Intel socket, only Intel chip is going to go in there, which is this right here. This is an Intel chip.
and as you can tell it looks like a whole bunch of different solar panels that are on here and these are what go inside of that socket there are 1151 of these little gold what look like solar panels okay and it goes inside this here when you lift up this latch it'll fit right into the socket now there are pins on here and these are the pins that you do not touch now Intel's sockets have the pins built into the socket AMD does not the pins are not in here on the board the pins are actually built onto the processor as you can see here and this is kind of tricky because you have to handle this particular socket more delicately than an Intel because of the pins that are protruding from the processor and a lot of people don't like that but that's the way these particular processors are made and this particular processor goes in to these holes right here you lift up this latch right here and then you drop your socket in you close this latch and that's it you're done installing now I'm gonna bring up a side-by-side -side picture of what these look like and draw that so you can actually see what you know see them side by side of what the differences are so once again you have your AMD and your Intel and you can see the difference between the two of them now both of these are actually good manufacturers there's there's really no good there's no bad they're actually really good processors but I just want to show you the differences between what the Intel motherboard looks like and what the AMD motherboard looks like and with that I'm gonna close this out and I hope this helps you guys out you all take care be safe peace out